This next company is destroying the field with one of their games. They've won so many awards this year, mm -hmm. and it's by uh, Czech Games. Yeah, Czech Games Edition, and you might know them from this game, Codenames. Code Names. All right, so Code Names is another spy game. Another one. Uh -huh. Okay. Awesome. So this is where two rival spy masters know the secret identities of 25 agents. Their teammates know the agents only by their code names. And the teams complete to see compete to see who can make uh, contact with all of their agents first. So you have your blue agents, your red mm -hmm. agents, and so on and so forth. But while trying to identify where their agents are, you got to avoid being killed by the assassin. Oh snap! And that's the this is the original code names. All right, they came out with and this was available at Gen Con the new code name pictures. Ooh. So instead of using words on code like this one has code names, you use uh, words to identify where your agents may be. And, and there's clues you give. This one you do it using just pictures, which could be even more yeah. difficult. Because you don't know what they're trying to. Because, <laughs> yeah. What it, is that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you know it's a flying piggy bank, but you can't say flying piggy bank. And stuff. It's gonna be yeah. a lot of fun. These are. This is gonna be so much fun to play. We're gonna play both of these games. All right. right so here's the pictures. Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> Makes sense. Where's the rule book on there? I'm gonna. Why yeah, you, why you here, here's the it? rule book. Is that is it? Oh, I got that it right here. Uh, here are, I guess. Wow. Interesting. These are the agents. Yep. All right. All right. I'm gonna open some of these pictures because they look pretty funny. Again, the plastic yeah, is the, not my day. This, this game, unlike the original code names, this game is actually, this one actually is, looks pretty difficult in that. There's it, a lot more going on. Yeah. Um, both teams, da, 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 da. I'm trying to find out what, it builds out just like the original uh, code names, where you're going to do a um, five by five grid, and then you have your grid marker to show where everything's at. Um, taking turns. If you are the spy master, your job is to think up of a clue that relates to some of the pictures your team is trying to guess. Your clue consists of one word that relates to those pictures and one number that tells how many of your pictures related to that word. An example would be, they show a kangaroo with a, a stegosaurus back, and then um, it looks like the Beatles uh -huh, album, like the, evol the evolution. evolution of man type thing. Yeah. From uh, from monkey to to man, and so the one word is evolution, and then the number is two. So that means on the board, once you got your grid set up, uh -huh. on the board there will be two cards that represent some sort of evolution. Okay. And then you have to figure out which of those two cards are being referenced. Interesting. So if it were, let's say, um, like these two, we have a seahorse, and uh, this actually looks like a, a dream catcher, but with a life vest, with like a, a life, life with like a, a life yeah. ring to it. So, uh, you, but with this, you could say um, underwater two, and maybe those that would you know someone would be able to find pick those two out. Um, but on your five by five grid, of Interesting. course. Interesting. Cool. But, yeah. So yeah, this is gonna be this fun. Is... We're gonna actually play these games later in another video, yes. and that video is gonna have. Um, we're gonna do code names, the original version first, yep. and then we'll do code names pictures to show everybody the similarities and differences, and then we'll have like a discussion um, Very cool. on that. So you know, stay tuned for later on, and that, that video will be coming out soon. So, yeah, continue to follow all of our weirdness that we're doing. <laughs> so we have those. Uh, agent down. <clears throat> and these right here cards show the grid. So all the red on the grid when you have your 5x5 five five out would be the red agents mm -hmm. that you're trying to get, guess. All the blues are the blue agents that you're trying to guess. So there's yeah. that one and the robot. Yes. Then we have also by uh, Czech Games Edition, we have uh, the Prodigals Club where you play the role of a Victorian gentleman who, and Victorian gentlemen uh, acquire valuable property and attend formal dinners <laughs> and impress influential people. In other words, the proper Victorian gentleman is intolerably dull. Maybe it's time to have a little fun. <laughs> but what does someone do for fun? Well, in this game, you do you complete in, you compete in three distinct endeavors. Try to lose an election. 
try to get rid of all of your possessions or try to offend the most influential people in high society. Yes. Each competition has its own module and you can play in any two oh any tune combination or play all three simultaneously. Each module interacts with the other two. And to win, you'll need to balance your strategy and compete well in all areas. So you go from being a proper gentleman, you know, you know what I'm talking about, darling? And then you yes, yes. To make a total fool of yourself. To a mess. Right. I love it. Let's take a look at what this, this game has inside. So the rule book. Um, you have some game boards here. Different game boards. Nice. There's a lot of different wow. game boards. Um, some sort of uh, track uh, counter of some sort. Sure. More tokens and punch boards. More tokens and punch boards. So many more tokens and punch boards. You get so many things and stuff. There is so much Yay. in this. Hey, the more the merrier. All sorts of... Oh, oh these are cool. Yeah. You got your chefs. More? More. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Let me let me tell you, there's there's even there's even more. So many more things. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna... Just, these are just falling out, so I'm just gonna pop them out and put them back in. After oh, this. look, they're little... They're little oh. backgrounds. They're little backgrounds. You know what? Again, I bet you these are... Yeah, they're uh, probably your player. Your, like, yeah, your player character, like your little shield. But they're like the little study. That's uh, cool. Very nice. And like all of these games, cards are a necessity. And these ones are... Um, the artwork looks really good, and it looks like they're... Yeah. Um, on the back, it kind of looks like a little poker card type, you know, things. There you go. Things. That's perfect. And then, of course... Your top back. hats! Yes, your top hats. Because you know, uh -huh. darling. Oh, you know. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. What is it from Family Guy, the guy with the lower bite, underbite, Mr. Underbite? <laughs> yes. He's so influential. How are you going to get all this back in the box? <laughs> I don't know. Good I'll luck. figure it out. We'll figure it out here. There you go. All right. Ew. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, lovey. We won't go back in the box. But this, again, this is like all the other ones, are, it's going to be a lot of fun to play, I think, because anything that is a game that where you have to actually make a fool of yourself, oh, yeah. I excel at that. <laughs> <laughs> the I may concept not win. just sounds funny, too. Absolutely. I may not win it, but I excel at making a fool of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so those are by uh, Czech Game Edition, the, who brought us code names. Yes. And we got two more by them. So those are awesome. 